is Sharon. <laughs> Sharon's that bitch that you got at work bringing in all them juicy snacks. Oh, fuck her and fuck the snacks. How to overcome Sharon snacks? That was a question to ask for us. Really. On the Insta stories, big up everyone that's following us on Instagram. The Instagram yeah. is just going to pop up here. Right there. Follow it. Everyone. Because it's daily banter. It is, the, the banter's there daily, every day. How do you overcome Sharon snacks? Or what are Sharon well, snacks? Well, you know, every workplace, every place that you go, mm. has got that one Sharon <laughs> who comes in Monday, doesn't matter what day it is, and she's got treats. She's got chocolates. I've said this in a previous video. In fact, I've asked this in a previous video. Who in the hell brings in snacks on a Monday morning? I mean, it's outrageous. It is, isn't it? Who? On a Monday. Who does that? Someone who's sick in the head. Hmm, someone. Whatless. Who... Outrageous. They're on a different chapter of their life. You can't associate with them. Chocolates, <laughs> cakes, donuts, biscuits, biscuits. biscuits. Ooh, sweets. They love, no, Sharon loves a biscuit. She, 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 yeah, she likes a bit of biscuit. Yeah, especially them dark chocolate <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> donuts. Yeah, crispy cream. Crispy cream. Crisps. What about Coke? You know what? People. Or Sharon. It's always Lucas yeah. and No, not even that. Sharon always brings in the chocolates and the sweets and whatnot, but never brings in the drinks. How do you realise that? Yeah, why is that? I don't know. Saves it for Friday. Yeah. At a pub. <laughs> She's reckless. The Mr. Kiplings. Oh, she Ooh. loves a Mr. Kipling. You know Lemon what? slice. You know what? They're nice though. I'm not gonna lie. Would you turn it down? If 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 Sharon came in yeah. tomorrow yeah. with Mr. Kiplings, yeah. would you go for one? Mm. If it was a cheat day. <laughs> we're supposed to be doing videos here. We are doing videos. And, you know, we're telling people to avoid snacks and you'd go for one. Yeah, on the cheat day. I can't do this. Scott, I'm really, I'm really sorry. Look, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here if you're not serious about this. We talk, no, no, no. We spoke about this. Okay. Didn't we? Okay. You know what? I'll tell her no. I'll tell Sharon no. You can take your Mr. Kipling's. And you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if that's yeah. the case, I'm back. Cool. Scott, but but how, how do you avoid it? How do you avoid it? Like, Scott, Sharon snacks. Scott, I've got, got a confession. <laughs> what? Today I was eating crunchies. Oh, you've got some fucking Malteser cheap. Malteser buttons. You've got some those, those new ones, Malteser buttons. No, no, you're not hearing me. You've got some fucking cheek to pull that. <laughs> and tell me you're eating on Sharon snacks. We all, we all make mistakes, don't we? Yeah, it's all, it's all Sharon's fault. It's not, yeah, exactly. But, in, but we know we've got to take responsibility. Yeah, for but it. how do we avoid that? So to avoid the snacks, okay, to not get tempted, you need to bring in your own stuff. Okay, so if you're at work, right, and you don't want to get tempted by all the chocolate and all that, at the end of the day, you're going to be tempted, aren't you? Because you're human. Mm -hmm. And you like it. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. Mm -hmm. And we're hungry. And we're foodies. Exactly. Who doesn't love food? If you don't like food, I'm not really too sure. I'm not really <laughs> sure about you. Okay? Yeah. I don't understand you. So, what you need to do is bring in your own. Bring in your own snacks. Healthy snacks. But they need to be healthier. We right. actually have got a video about healthy yeah, snacks. Yeah, we do actually. Check it out. Um, yeah. Put the link in the link description. In the description. Yeah. You can bring in like almonds. That's a good shout. Yeah, nuts are always um, good. Brazilian nuts. All kinds of nuts. Oh, I remember that video. <laughs> you remember? Monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. <laughs> Rice cakes are one of my favorite snacks. Yeah, it's great. They're low butter, calorie. Yeah. You can put peanut butter or um, honey or some other topping on it. Mm. Um, just what else? Like you can have like fruit instead. Yeah, you can have fruit. Yeah, whatever you want. Well, you, you can, can have, even you can have, have just, hummus or something. Yeah, you know? just, there's loads of little snacks, and even if um, whatever it is, you if, if you bring in your own stuff, you're going to be less likely to dip into the other stuff. Mm. And especially if you you kind of have a, a sweet tooth, then that's when the little things like honey and peanut butter and stuff can come into play. Rice, I think rice cakes is one of the best snacks. Mm -hmm. Rice cake, peanut butter, honey. Straight. You can't beat it. And keep the water near you as well. And keep just guzzle the water. If you're yeah. trying to if you're trying to aim for at least two, three liters of water every day, <clears throat> that fills up your belly and it fills up your time. You ain't got time to be eating because you're just drinking and pissing all day. 
And if you eat a proper breakfast, a proper lunch, and a proper dinner, let's say if you just want to do three meals, then you should be kind of full. Do you know what I mean? If you have like a, a good, solid, healthy breakfast of like porridge, oats or something like that with some fruit in it, like it will keep you full until lunch. And then your lunch is good, that will keep you full till dinner. But if you just have some shitty breakfast, like some fucking cocoa pops, then you're obviously you're gonna be hungry, ain't ya? Yeah. Yeah? You know, they did say like sugar is like a drug. It's addictive. Yes. So if you had like cocoa pops or sweets or chocolate or something like that, you realise you'll crave it more you're gonna and more, more, more and more and more. Why? Well, guess what? Drugs do that shit. Not that I would know, but I've seen and heard drugs do that shit. This is a drug free channel. If you're watching and you take drugs, that's okay. We understand. But not around here, especially not any of that gear. We don't take those type of shots. No. <laughs> <laughs> but there's another way to avoid Sharon snacks. Oh. Tell Sharon to fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> so you know what, Sharon? You're cool and all that. We appreciate you bringing snacks in, but take your shit somewhere else because we don't want your snacks. We don't need your snacks. And quite frankly, if you don't like that, then you can just fuck right off. You could say that, but I wouldn't say that. I think I'd be very rude if, if I said that, but you know, some people would. I but then you may get like a, a call from HR saying, you know, you're being rude to your colleague when she was being considerate bringing snacks into the office. So. Uh, I mean, look, at the end of the day, Sharon is an enemy of progress. She's a wolf in sheep's clothing. How did you At the end of the day, they haven't got your best interests at heart. People are generally not about this life. They don't watch videos online. They don't research things for their health. They don't care. They don't give a shit. It's, in the, it's a mindset it's thing. All, they the think mind. that they're always gonna be either overweight or just not in shape. And it's in their head that they'll never ever have the body that they want. The, they'll achieve what they want. So they just think, you know what? Fuck it. Snacks every day. I don't care about my diet. And if everyone else gets fat with me, then hey, I feel better about myself. You just need to kick them to the curb. You need to be, you need to be assertive. You need to tell them what you want. You need to tell them your destiny. Explain it to them. Say, listen, this is not in line with my goals. So do me a favor and fuck off. Thank you. But hey, if you want a snack on Sharon's snacks, do it. Yeah. yeah. Do and Sharon, yeah, yeah. if you're watching, I know ya, I've seen ya, and I'm not impressed, and you can't fool me, okay? Yeah, I might have had a crunchy, I might take a couple snacks here and there, but that doesn't, <laughs> I can't be judged, I can't be judged, okay? My heart is clean, okay? I make mistakes, but I need you to help me help you help me, okay? I've got nothing else to say. Okay, so that's how you avoid Sharon snacks. Um, while we're here as well, um, free Professor Gallagher. You know, we found some videos in the archives. We're posting them just to pay tribute to his work. He's a good man. But we're on the case. He's unfortunately kidnapped. Yeah, we're working on it. Um, we're working on something, don't worry. Like, it'll be free soon. Avoid the snacks, bring in your own shit. Yeah. As simple as that. Don't don't tell Sharon to fuck off. Don't do that because you'll probably get in trouble and she'll go to HR and then you get in trouble and then you'll blame us and then we'll get into trouble and then it's, you know, like you know mass hunters get shut down and you don't want that. We don't want that. So the best thing not to do is not to tell Sharon to fuck off. All the best, guys. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Sharon, if you're watching and you're subscribed, kindly just press the unsubscribe button. <laughs> we don't want you here. This is not for you. All the best. Catch Stay away from them snacks. Catch you on the next one. Peace.